This episode is all about the cognitive function of extroverted intuition, aka NE, that is a capital N with a lowercase e, or as personality hacker likes to call it, exploration. I will explain the function, which Myers-Briggs types use it, and what it means for your style. I'm Rebecca Milkey. As your visual identity guide, I take you on a journey of self-discovery so you can align your inner and outer self, show up confidently, and contribute your gifts to the world. Before we jump into extroverted intuition, I want to invite you to take my free style personality quiz. Find the link in the show description or at my website, SignatureStyleSystems.com. Okay. Extroverted intuition defined is real-time pattern recognition oriented around the question, what is possible? It's characterized by optimism, spotting opportunities, and brainstorming new possibilities. It thinks in analogies and gets its best creative ideas in the moment, especially while brainstorming with others. It has a drive to learn through exploring and it loves novelty. And here are some ways that you can communicate NE visually. Combine disparate concepts within a single outfit. So some examples I've seen in the past, which is probably a lot of years more than you your past, but uh, anyway, the people who popularized wearing chucks with their ball gown or shorts and tights are undoubtedly using this function. The rest of us can adopt it once our eyes adjust. Um, and that happens at different paces for different people. But the higher up extroverted intuition is in your uh, cognitive function stack the more likely you're gonna do these things just for fun. Um, so I do not have extroverted intuition in my stack and I am willing to tell a story on myself here. Uh, when I was in college, and this was probably around 2012, so about 12 years ago, I um, just decided one day I would wear shorts and tights and the tights. Okay. So the shorts I'm pretty sure were like some kind of burnt orange or something. And then the tights were, I think a pattern like white with multicolor pattern on it or something. And I mean, I didn't get kicked out of any classes or anything, but it it wasn't authentic to me and I never did it again. Um, but I see people wearing this kind of stuff all the time. It's super cute. Um, so anyway, moving on. Uh, so the disparate concepts can be extended to the idea of pulling things from different times in history. So this is, um, you know, a, at like, um, at a high level, it might be something crazy like wearing something that's super contemporary today with something that looks medieval and it looks cute together. Um, but it also could be something um, as simple as, um, especially if it's lower down for you, uh, wearing um, something that is like traditional with something that is just like a like one item or accessory or something that, that's a brand new trend. Um, okay, so you also, you may wear an outfit that's completely contemporary today and tomorrow you wear a completely retro outfit and that can be consistent with this personality type because um, extroverted intuition is it's a it's not bound by time it's atemporal so um yeah so you don't need to feel like you have to always have a certain relationship to the um the timeline of trends or anything like that to be consistent with your own style 
Um, the exotic, like stuff that's not from around here also might work really well for you. And this is a creative function. So you might sometimes want to be out there ahead of trends or creating them. Not usually like forecasting trends so much as like, um, like I just don't want to be like everybody else. So I'm going to do my own thing. And then everybody else likes it and copies you. Um, and then you might also feel a greater need for variety in your closet than some other types and um, for creating different outfits with the pieces that you have. So uh, anyway, those are some ways that uh, extroverted intuition can show up in your wardrobe. And then what types use it? It's a, extroverted intuition is a preferred function for all NPs and SJs in the Myers-Briggs system. So if your type preferences are ENTP or ENFP, this is your dominant function. So don't be afraid to have fun with your look and show your creativity. I have heard uh, EN something P's say before that they should buy timeless classics in order to be sensible or responsible financially. So the risk here is that you, you will be perceived to be more traditional than you really are. And then you'll miss out on opportunities for spontaneous brainstorming with people or to really be um, seen for your, uh, your responsiveness and your ability to, uh, to see what the possibilities are in the moment. Okay, so if you have type preferences for INTP or INFP, this is your auxiliary function. So it's the one that you might forget to communicate visually. It's a major part of your native genius. So communicating that you have extroverted intuition through your look, it's important. And as an introverted type, if you prefer to do this in a quiet way, that's great, that's fine. Um, so, for the tertiary function, the types are uh, ESTJ and ESFJ. And the tertiary function, the third function, is a place of play. So you may want to go full NE with your leisure wardrobe segment, or you can just inject some creative fun into your everyday looks. Be careful not to allow your need for variety to leave you with an overstuffed wardrobe. I know some people in these types who have a lot of clothes. Okay, and finally, uh, for people with ISTJ or ISFJ preferences, this is a baby part of you. And um, it still allows you to wear exotic things or slightly unusual combinations. Uh, for example, I think I've mentioned before that the hero was ISTJ and he wore African shirts really, really well for a white man who never left North America. Uh, finally, your homework for this episode is to play dress up. If you're one of the types here, try putting together some new and unexpected combinations. Thanks for being here for Signature Style Systems and have fun being you. I'll meet you back here again real soon.